up in the air. I want you to jump. Jump. Like you trying to get stuck in it. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a festival Coachella inspired look. If you guys know me personally, you know I am not a festival goer. I'm not a party girl. I like to sit at home, watch Gossip Girl, snuggle up, eat chocolate and sleep. I don't like drinking. I'm just really boring. I'm just... I'm out of that face. You know what I mean? I'm 24. I feel like I'm getting old now. But I really... I'm intrigued by Coachella. I feel like that's the one festival that I would go to. Um, so I just wanted to sit down and create a festival inspired look. I was getting FOMO from seeing everyone's photos at Coachella. It looks like so much fun. Just wanted to do a last minute inspo type of video for you guys. I know weekend one has gone by, but weekend two is coming up. So if you're headed to that one, Hopefully this inspires you guys a little bit. I drew inspiration from quite a few people. I will list them all below because I don't think I'll be able to remember them all off the top of my head. But what I can remember, I screenshot photos from Jamie Genevieve, Samantha Ravendahl, um, Thomas Halbert, I think that's how you say his last name, um, Brookell. I can't remember who else, but I had quite a few photos in my phone um, and I just kind of used them as inspo reference sort of pictures and meshed them all together and this is what I came up with. I just really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on notifications so you can see anytime I'm uploading videos. I want to start uploading four times a week, but we'll just see. You guys know what I'm like. I'm super flaky. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this tube. Please keep watching. Also, just quickly, the little faux septum is from Lovisa, and so is my necklace. I will link them down below. So starting off with some skincare today, I'm using this repairing oil from Estelle and Filled. Filed. I'm not really sure how to say it. And then I'm just following up with the Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer. This has like a really beautiful illumination to the skin. It looks amazing and I just love using it. it. Just makes you look really hydrated. And then I just followed up with the Porefessional Primer. So we use that moisturizer to add like a nice glow to the skin. And then I'm just using this primer in the areas where I tend to get a little bit more oily and my pores are a little bit more noticeable. It's just a really nice way to have glowing skin if you still have like combination or oily skin. You can do it, just make sure you kind of mattify those areas you tend to get a little bit more oily in. And then we're going in with some foundation. I'm using my NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Punjab today. I love this foundation so much. It's so flawless. And I'm just using the Sigma 3D HD Blender Sponge to blend that out. We're doing a lighter coverage today. I'm then going in with my incredibly worn out Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkissed. I'm obsessed with these. They seem a little bit scary at first because it is a bronzing liquid, but they honestly are so beautiful. As you guys will see when I start blending them out, it looks, you kind of like, what the heck, that's so much. And I did use quite a lot, I'm gonna admit it. I went to town. Uh, but I just want to seem super bronzy and super tanned. So I'm just using my FO5 from Sigma to blend this out. Um, and like I said, you guys can see that it does really blend out so beautifully on the skin. It just looks like a really natural tanned glow. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for with this look. I didn't really want a heavy contour. I mostly wanted it to just be like a nice bronze glow to the skin, if you guys get me. Just make it look like we're just... I don't know, in the sunshine, getting sun-kissed, having the time of our life at Coachella, shit's lit. Then going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I haven't used this in so long, it used to be my favourite. To be honest, the Tarte Shape Tape is my favourite at the moment, but I just was trying to use some different products for you guys because I'm sure you're incredibly bored of seeing the same stuff all the time. Um, and this is in the shade Light Warm and again just using that Sigma 3D HD blender to blend that out. I didn't want to do too much highlighting um, because I just wanted to keep like that nice warmth bronzy kind of glow to the skin so we're only doing a little bit and I'm just using this to prime my eyelids as well. And then going in with my favourite Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder on my Sigma F25 brush. We're just using this to set underneath the eyes and the eyelids as well. And I did go in with a little bit of my translucent powder from Laura Mercier just to set the centres of my face but I forgot to include those clips. 
Then moving on to my brows, I thought I would include this today for you guys because I don't typically, just because it takes me so long. You guys can see I have really sparse brows, so it takes me quite a while to fill them in. But all I'm doing is using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde with my E75 brush from Sigma. And I'm just basically drawing lines across at the bottom and the top and then connecting them in the outer corner and then filling them in. And then I just use a little spoolie brush to kind of blend everything together. And then I just add a couple of little hairs in the front. Seems really straightforward, but it takes me so long to do because I'm just starting with nothing. And then we're moving on to the eyes. We're using the Modern Renaissance palette today from Anastasia. And we're just starting off with the shade Golden Ochre on the E40 brush from Sigma. And for the lower lash line, I'm using the E63. So I'm basically just building up a base before we go in with the other shades. And then dipping into the shade Burnt Orange on the E35 brush from Sigma. I'm just getting this a little bit more precisely into the crease and then going back in with that pretty much clean E40 brush to blend everything out seamlessly. You guys will see I kind of switch between these brushes throughout the whole tutorial just for blending purposes. And then going in with the E20 to pack the Burnt Orange shade onto the lower lash line and then switching back to that E63 to blend that out. So I've included the brush name on the screen for you guys so hopefully you can follow along easily with what I'm doing. Then dipping into the shade Realga on my E45 we're going to start packing this onto the outer corner so doing a little bit of swiping and blending but not too much essentially just starting to really build that shade up and then back in with the E20 to pack it onto the lower lash line as well and then to blend both of those shades out I'm going in with the E25 brush and we're basically just blending the crease area and then the lid and the outer corner so not too much where we pretty much packed all the shades but just like the outer areas I'm not making any sense am I and then going back in again and building up those colors so we're basically just packing in with the E45 and then blending with the E25 but just the outer areas so it just like blends seamlessly I don't know if it's making any sense. And then going back in with my E40 brush just to blend those edges even further and make sure everything is diffused. Because it's a clean brush, it won't transfer any pigment anywhere that we don't want it. And then going back in with that E45 to pack a little bit of that Rialga shade into the inner corner and then back in with the E25 to blend. Make sure you don't connect these shades because we do want that separation of kind of like a halo eye effect. Then on the E30 pencil brush, I'm taking the shade Red Ochre, packing that onto the outer corner of the lid and then going in with the E47 to blend that out. And then once you've built up the pigmentation to your desired taste, then go back in with the E25 just to blend out those edges a little bit more. And then we're switching to the LO4. It's just a teeny tiny little brush and I'm just packing the bit, what? <laughs> packing that red ochre shade onto the inner corner, just like a little, little dot kind of thing. And then using the E47 to blend that out. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the lower lash line, just packing that on and blending everything out. Make sure with the lid that you don't connect those two colors. We do really want that space to be there. So it's kind of like a funky little halo eye. And then going in with the shade, I think this is like Venetian red or something. I'm not sure my finger was over the color name, um, but I'm just using the E36 to pack that and blend it a little bit more precisely into the crease. And then the E25 to blend it out a little bit more seamlessly. And then going in with the shade Cypress Umber, basically just adding a little bit more definition on the outer corner using a few of those same brushes. I then wanted a little bit of shimmer on the lid, so I just took the E47 and lightly dusted Primavera just in that space, that negative space kind of area. Didn't really do too much, but it just added like a nice sheen. And then I went in with this, um, what is this brand? I think this is Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I'm not too sure, but it's the Antique Bronze Pigment. And I'm basically, I just kind of sat that on the lid with no like primer or anything. I just wanted a light dusting of glitter. And then I went in with this MAC Primer. One of my subbies told me to use this as a glitter glue and it works so perfectly. And I just used that same um, pigment to pack it onto the inner corner. And then I finished off the eye look with the new Bouncem Serengeti Lashes. You guys can use Casey Rayton to get 20% off if you want to pick up anything and then we're jumping back into the face. 
So I'm just adding a little bit more bronze and warmth to the skin using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one is a little bit more orangey and warmer than the regular Chocolate Soleil. Um, and I'm basically just kind of dusting this just in the general areas where the sun hits your skin because we do want to look super tanned for Coachella. And then I'm going in it with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I love this, I'm obsessed. And I'm using the shade Daydream. Um, I just wanted to go in with a little bit of highlight first just to get those cheekbones popping, highlight the essential higher areas of the face. And then we're going in with this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Supernova. If you guys have the Anastasia um, Moonchild Glow Kit, you can just use that, but I don't own any like colorful highlight type of things. So I was using this and it's like a really pretty purple sort of glow. You can't really see it on the right side of my face. I think it's because of my lighting, but on the left, you can see it a lot better. Um, and it was just like a really pretty iridescent sort of glow. So I just kind of put that on the cheekbones and then like the temples. It just sort of dusted it really roughly around there. And then I'm adding a little bit of it underneath my eyes as well, just to start prepping for going in with that antique bronze pigment again. I added just a tiny bit of that MAC primer. I just like tapped it on there with my finger and then I'm going in with my E25 brush and I'm just starting to pack on that pigment in like the shape of glitter tears sort of this is a really finely milled glittery pigment so it's not really showing up on camera as i wanted it to um but in person it looked so so pretty and when you guys see the close-up of the makeup it just it looks so nice i love it and i also just added a light dusting of glitter in those um highlighted areas around the sides of the face as well then going in with this nyx liner this is in the shade Glam, I think I'm not sure everything will be listed down below for you guys But I'm basically just dotting a couple of little dots under there just to add a little bit more texture to that glitter And then we're moving on to the lips I do go back in and add some other stuff to the face as well So definitely stay tuned you guys would have seen a little sneaky peek before But I'm just using the Anastasia lip palette and I just mixed up a custom shade I will leave the shades I use listed down below for you guys but the shade I mixed was a little bit too neon, so you guys will see in a minute. I just go in with one of the regular shades that's in the palette and just make it a little bit more ombre So yeah, this palette's pretty awesome because you can kind of just tailor your lip color to exactly what you're looking for. I forgot to add a product shot, but I went in with this Too Faced um, sketch marker. This is the white one. I was using this to do the markings, but it wasn't really working out how I wanted. So I ended up just taking the white shade from the um, Anastasia lip palette. And I did go over the lip and the line down my forehead. Um, and I'm just adding some dots above my eyebrows because I don't know. I'm just Coachella, right? You guys then see me just adding a little bit of that white liner underneath my eyes. Again, just adding a little bit more texture. It looks really, really cool in person. I'm so sad it didn't pick up too much on camera. And then I'm just finishing everything off with the Kat Von D Locket setting spray. I'm freaking obsessed with this stuff. It's so good, you guys. It's like the nicest setting spray ever. And that's it. That's it for this tutorial. I'm sorry if it was super confusing. When I sit down and film, I just wing it. Um, so if it's all over the place, that's why I just don't really ever have a plan and I go with what I feel. Um, but I really hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.